In this episode, we go back to basics. We go back to the roots. We take a look at the beginnings. We take a look at, for example, gin and tonics. Why are they still so popular despite the proliferation of so many other cocktails? Let's talk about pizza. Why is this basic food still the perfect food, as most people call it? And we'll talk about the beginnings of one of the country's best pastry chefs, Jackie Angpo. And finally, we'll go to the house that Sisig built, the very first round zero for Sisig actually here in Metro Manila, or as they call it, this is the restaurant that made Sisig famous, Trellis. All that and more in tonight's Let's Eat. The Discovery Primea sits in a very valuable and historic piece of real estate here in Makati. On this lot used to stand the Gilarmi Apartments, the very first luxury apartments here in the Philippines. And it's named after Army Kusela, the very first Miss Universe, who just happened to marry a Pinoy named Hill. I love this place now because it's creating its own history, because on this site is the best gin joint in all of the country. Gin and tonics are actually experiencing a renaissance worldwide. Gone are the days of a plain old bottle of English dry paired with a can of tonic water. These new GNTs are bespoke, artisanal, and very personal, just as a good cocktail should be. Make me happy. My favorite gin and tonic here is the Lichia's gin and tonic. I know, tonic. that's one it's of the It's the light gin and tonic. I've never had it before until you made it for me. And, and for some reason, it really captures what a lychee dessert, yes. Well, right now, I'll be doing your favorite, your uh, lychee midori gin and tonic. But first, I need to uh, wash the glass with some uh, calamansi uh, juice. This will give your uh, GNT, you know, the, the balance of acidity. There you have it. And then, for the sweetness, I have your uh, Midori, of course. Just a tad, not too much. For a little uh, sweet taste. And then, your favorite, some light tea juice. And the fruit, of course. My gin of choice, Nordes. Generous amount of it. And to top it all, of course, Mediterranean tonic water, 7024. And to add some um, herbal notes, my uh, lemongrass to complement lychee and the midori and here you go your favorite lychee and midori gin and tonic so i still get it it's it's just um there's the balance yes. between the gin and you get the herbal elements mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that you're looking for and at the same time at the back you get this total lychee taste so it lingers the whole well, very very fancy sweet the whole experience is I'm, I'm getting the lychee at the very back so even if i'm not sipping i'm just resting i'm getting that lychee taste that's the whole aftertaste so perfect yeah and after a few sips yung lemongrass papasok na yung yung end nodes lennon obviously is a big beatles fan and so am i his favorite Beatles album, Revolver, but mine is Rubber Soul. But we agree one of the best albums ever is the Beatles' Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. And today, he's making a gin and tonic 
inspired by that seminal psychedelic album. For my Sgt. Pepper um, gin and tonic, okay. well, first going to use this um, Opira gin. I use this because um, this is the uh, matured Beatles being, oh. you know, psychedelic, and not just one, uh, not just uh, you know, a simple shot, but. A 60 ml, so okay. Uh, so you're saying that this is a more mature gin? Yes, a mature okay. gin. Of course, Laxardo Marascino. That is? This is a cherry liqueur. Okay. Still, that period of time still has some um, sweetness from them. You know? Yeah, they were not fighting yet. <laughs> not, not fighting yet. Because uh, Sgt. Peppers will be the apex of the creativity of the Beatles. To make it quite versatile and okay. something, something whimsical, I have some slow gin. Just, just a, just a tad. Okay. Just to add sweetness. So, ice. I'm going to use an uh, an AGN tonic water. There. And for my uh, botanicals, because of uh, opiridine, which is which are uh, spices, I need green bell peppers. They're grilled bell peppers. Yes. Oh, that looks gorgeous, man. Remember the the album cover? That's of what I'm Sergeant thinking. Peppers, or are you going towards it's, that? It's it's very All colorful. Right, it's colorful. It's densely populated. There's so much character to it, and I guess it's what we're getting now. I need to put the uh, the orange on top because I'm going to put another on it there. Ah. And then because it's a Sergeant Pepper is whimsical psychedelic, I need to put a meringue. At para may pulutan, I have some pickled. Uh, oh my God. And the first, you gotta toast the meringue a little bit. Yep. Your Sgt. Pepper. So gin this and is tonic. the Sgt. Pepper's gin and tonic. Holy, that is playful, beautiful. fancy, whimsical. psychedelic. Psychedelic. Wow. Mmm, my bulaga. Yeah. In lasa. There's so much happening here, exactly Just like, like in the, the album, album cover. Just like the album. Yeah. It has a story to tell. Cheers, brother. Thank you. This is wonderful. You have won the Gin and Tonic Challenge. This is Lennon. We're at Gilarmi Lounge, and this is the Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Gin and Tonic. Sir. And it's spectacular. Thank Classic, you. man. Cheers. Just a few steps away from the Gilarmi Lounge, yes, Tapinad. So it's possible to cross order and guests can have the best value pizzas in Makati paired with the most creative gin and tonics in the city. This used to be a my secret place and back when it opened in 2015, I used to go to Tapinad all the time and that's when I discovered perhaps my favorite, my favorite pizza in Makati. And uh, it was only a bit later on that I met the chef, Louis Chim Kiamko. Hey, Spanky. Louis, it's really good to be finally by the oven. This pizza, for me, is one of the best value pizzas in all of Makati and, and maybe all of Metro Manila. And Louis is going to make me my own personal favorite pizza, the salumi. Louis, how do we do this? All right. Uh, we start off with our pizza dough. We use three types of flour. Okay. Wheat, all-purpose, a little bit of bread flour. Each uh, type of flour plays a different role okay. in, in the texture. We also add wheat germ for that extra flavor, extra crunch. So we start off with our our dough. Okay. Now, we put a little bit of flour. Our flour is mixed with uh, a little bit of polenta to give that extra crisp. How long does it take to bake a pizza? With our oven, it takes yeah. about two minutes. We flour our marble top. Uh, may, may I help you? Sure. Okay, so. Get your hands dirty. Yeah, always. Okay. And then, we, we stretch it out some more, okay? So there's actually a whole science here with regards to pizzas. There's also a lot of debate as to what a real authentic pizza is. We researched on the pizza, okay. we researched on the dough, we researched on toppings that we put. So everything here is made from scratch. Yes. You make the dough from scratch. Then Even this our is our pomodoro is from okay. scratch. So it's a pomodoro sauce. Yeah. What are the components? We have uh, tomatoes, onions, okay. which we stew for a long time, and uh, a little bit of oregano. So all the good stuff. Then a little bit of double smoked bacon. Bacon. Double smoked. Then we have uh, 
chorizo picante. Si I'm actually picante. starting to salivate here. When you mentioned the word chorizo, holy cow, man. <laughs> it just triggered something in me. So you've got all the magic words here. So you've got fennel sausage, really Italian. You've got mozzarella cheese. You've got bacon. And now you've got chorizo. Now we're ready to cook our pizza. But for you, I'll add a little bit more cheese. You go. I'm gonna add whatever you want. You know. Okay. My favorite pizza. Okay. Then we just flour our paddle. Okay. How long will this cook, Louis? About two minutes. Two minutes. Chef Louis Chikiamko is actually one of the best chefs in the Philippines, but he shies away from the spotlight. He'd rather do his business where it belongs, in the kitchen. And for that, I'm grateful. Well, my parents were very supportive. Mm. Really? That's, yes. Mm. Um, they were actually relieved in a way mm. because I was actually going to do something that I really wanted also. Not that I didn't want to become a doctor, but... No, I'm, I'm glad you're a chef instead well, of a doctor. I found my niche also. I think and I you're doing it. very well. Yeah. One of the Philippines' most underrated <laughs> and one of the most talented chefs in the country. Thank you. Okay? And this pizza is proof positive of that. I, I love this salumi because it's, number one, it's all meat. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I have a, another cute slice. You know, you know what makes this so good? It's a lot of There are a few things in life that are perfect together. Mm. Just pizza and beer. So, I'm going to toast to this. Guys, without, without fear of being contradicted, I'm going to make a hot take, and this is for me, it's the best pizza in Makati. Probably in all of Metro Manila, probably the top three in all of the Philippines, and so I'll do to you. You can't drink yet, you're still cooking, yeah, but I will. I'll drink to you, Please. I'll drink to this pizza, to the salumi, to the tapenade. Thank you. Mm. So good, man. It's so Enjoy. Mm. Mm. Sapta lagi.